Once again, there's $20,000 on the line here. You have to wonder how that factors into the gameplay, Hal. Yeah, high stakes, right? Really, really high stakes in this match. And we're off. Surprised to see Tynan pull guard so quickly. Oh no, we you know we saw earlier in this match as well. Tynan well versed in all areas of the game, and I think Jonatus may have preferred to be on bottom. Obviously, well rounded as well. But Tynan, meanwhile, right on the action here, inverting, looking to get underneath the hips of Jonatus. Jonatus doing a nice job of trying to control the grips and back away. And he still kind of caught up here in this web that Tynan is beginning to weave. Look at this action from Tyne. Still chasing after, going underneath the hips here. Now he's in a good spot. Relentless action from Tyne as he look, looks to off balance Jonatas. Got that grip on the pants that I was just going to mention before. We saw it really come into play there. Jontas really not able to kick out of danger here. But of course, Jontas has his own grip on the pant leg, which is restricting Tynan's ability to fully complete the sweep or come up for maybe chasing the back. Very complicated kind of entanglement here. I like the way that Tynan is using the legs, though. It's uh, not only is it, of course, you know, putting Gracie under the threat of the sweep here, but you could come out on the back and start chasing him from there. And it was those double ankle, double pant grips that allowed Dalper to sweep Hinato Canuto in the opening round match. And of course, not only did it allow him to get the sweep, but it's such a powerful grip because it, uh, it led directly into that near back take, near guard pass. Mm. It really killed his opponent's ability to recover guard, to get back up, to escape. And Tynan's so good at, at slowing down his opponents and negating their strengths. And look at this. This is nice. This is good work now. We Tynan see this. Coming up into, from the leg drag into the back attack. He's going to put one hook in. Early attack here from Tynan Dalpera. Nice work as he looks to drag Jontas down to the mat. Jontas is able to turn into Tynan and avoid fully having his back taken. Tynan only earns two advantages, I want to say, for that. It was a beautiful recovery from Gracie. You've got to give it to him. Pulls guard safely now and is able to work from bottom. But that is a clear sign of how cautious and how careful you need to be against somebody like Tynan Dalpera. He is just very, very sneaky. <laughs> and look at the passing of Tynan nice. already at work here. Jonathan is forced to turn away. He's got a hand in the, in the neck. Back. He's got a hand in the neck. That hand is already going in underneath the chin. We switch the angles. We can't see from there exactly. This is much better now. He's going to try and adjust the hooks and get the, the grip here. It's all about the hands in this position. That even if he loses the hooks, those hands, he could choke Grayson from here with no hooks. But look at the defense from Jonathan Gracie. Oh, I this isn't a good. On. This, this could, could be, be tight. This could be tight. Jonathan is looking to defend at the neck, but Tynan's all over it. He's got the Hooks two collar grips. Four points for Tynan now. Adjustment here from Tynan. Cuts the angle. This could be there all over. There it is. Jonathan Gracie taps out to the collar choke. Tynan Dalpra. Less than four minutes into this final here at the middleweight GP. Takes the win and the $20,000 with a submission. Well, he came close with the back take in the early part of the match, and then a second back take. Really, the, the hooks were a secondary factor, really. He, he cut the angle, and he got up onto the back, and once he got those grips on the on the collar and the one around the neck, it was it looked like it was a matter of time, Chase. Yeah, Jonathan was doing his very best to avoid a full bat take, ended up going back to his knees, allowed Tynan to follow him on top and then slide forward, securing a deeper choke, then of course Tynan secured the back with the hooks, and it was all over from there.
That's a statement for Jan Dalberg going into the World Championships in just a couple weeks here. Yes, it is. It's a one huge statement, you know. He's going to go into the middleweight division at Worlds in a couple of weeks. That's going to be a huge boost to your confidence. If we cut to the front, we can see Tyne Dalper with the oversized check. Jontas Gracie earning a cool $3,000 for his efforts today. I mean, when you uh, have to earn a win over Otavio, so Otavio Souza, you definitely earn that. But Tyne Dalper, $20,000 the richer. And as you mentioned, Chase, he's going to have a. Uh, it's going to be such a huge boost of confidence going into the World Championships, as if his conf confidence wasn't high enough like after such an incredible like year. Yeah. He just affirms his position as one of the very best black belts in the world right now. And incredible to think that this young man is pretty much just coming to the, the end of the first calendar year of his black belt career. That man's only 21 years old, Hal. He's got so much time left to, to make his legacy. So Arrived fully formed into the middleweight division and was able to, to stamp his authority.